by Walter de la Mer, 1873 to 1956. Is there anybody there? said the traveller, knocking on the moonlit door, and his horse in the silence champed the grasses on the forest's ferny floor. And a bird flew up out of the turret above the traveller's head, and he smote upon the door again a second time. Is there anybody there? he said. But no one descended to the traveller. No head from the leaf fringed sill leaned over and looked into his grey eyes where he stood perplexed and still. But only a host of phantom listeners that dwelt in the lone house then stood listening in the quiet of the moonlight to that voice from the world of men. Stood thronging the faint moonbeams on the dark stair that goes down to the empty hall, hearkening in an air stirred and shaken by the lonely traveller's call. And he felt in his heart their strangeness, their stillness answering his cry, while his horse moved, cropping the dark turf neath the starred and leafy sky. For suddenly he smote on the door even louder and lifted his head, Tell them I came, and no one answered, that I kept my word, he said. Never the least stir made the listeners, though every word he spake fell echoing through the shadowiness of the still house from the one man left awake. Aye, they heard his foot upon the stirrup, and the sound of iron on stone, and how the silence surged softly backwards when the plunging hooves were gone. Okay, this poem is by Walter de la Mer. Okay, he was born in the uh, south of England, in Kent, and uh, he went to St Paul's Cathedral School. Um, he worked for a very short time for Standard Oil, but he's most famous for uh, his poems and his horror stories, uh, or his psychological horror stories. Um, mostly he's best remembered for his works for children. Um, so, what's this about? Well, this poem, is it's a scene. There is a, a horseman who comes to this strange place, this strange castle, this strange tower, and we don't know why he's gone there, but he knocks on the door and he says, I'm here. And clearly it's been, he has been sent as part of a quest to go to this place. And um, he has gone to this place, but clearly there is nobody left alive here. It's full of phantoms and spirits. Um, and the whole poem gives this haunted, creepy uh, feel to it. So, is there anybody there, said the traveller, knocking on the moonlit door. Dum, dum, dum. Is there anybody there? And his horse, in the silence, champed the grasses on the forest's ferny floor. So, champ, not chomp, champ, to chew. And his, his horse is chewing the grasses from the, fl the floor of the forest, which is covered in ferns. Also, look at this. The forest's ferny floor. F f f that's very nice work. And a bird flew out of the turret above the traveller's head. It just gives you an image. And he smote, he hit upon the door again a second time. 
Is there anybody there? He said. So he hits the door again. But no one descended to the traveller. No head from the leaf-fringed sill leaned over and looked into his eyes. So the sill is the window sill, is the bit at the bottom of a window. So nobody looked out over a window to see who was knocking. And uh, we see his grey eyes, the grey eyes of the traveller, where he stood perplexed and still. So he doesn't know what's happening, yeah? but only a host of phantom listeners. So, there are people listening, yes, but these are phantoms, these are ghosts, and there are a host of them, a lot of them. And these live in the lone house, in the house on its own, this haunted house. And these phantom listeners stood in the quiet of the moonlight, listening to the voice of the traveller to the voice of, from the world of men so listening to someone alive so clearly the phantoms are dead and this is creating this wonderful image this wonderful frightening ghostly uh, place stood thronging the faint moonbeams on the dark stair so these phantoms they're push they're all in the moonbeams they're pushing together in the moonbeams on the on the dark stairs that goes down to the empty hall so there's an empty hall there's clearly nobody alive here but this place is full of spirits um hearkening in an air stirred and shaken by the lonely traveler's call so they're listening yeah, they're listening to the words of the traveller calling in this air that the only thing that's moved it in a very long time are these words of this traveller on his own. And he felt in his heart their strangeness, their stillness answering his cry. So in his heart he could feel these phantoms, he could feel these ghosts, yeah, and the nothingness of the place was like the answer to what he was saying, while his horse moved cropping the dark turf neath the starred and leafy sky. So, um, but, and his horse is still eating the dark grass beneath the starred and leafy sky. So, there are leaves and trees over his head, and it's night. Yeah, for he suddenly smote on the door even louder and lifted his head. So to smite, to hit, he banged on the door even louder and he looked up, he lifted his head. Tell them I came and no one answered, that I kept my word, he said. So he, we don't know who they are, but he's clearly promised to come to this place and knock on the door. And he came to the place and he knocked, but no one answered. And clearly he gave his word to somebody that he would come to this place. Never the least stir made the listeners, though every word he spake fell echoing through the shadowiness of the still house from the one man left awake. So the listeners, the phantoms, they're, they're there, but they don't reply. And every word spake, spoken by the traveller who has come to the door echoes through the um, shadowy house. And he's clearly, this traveller is the only person who is alive. I, yes, they heard his foot upon the stirrup. So the stirrup is where you put your foot on the horse. And the sound of iron on stone. So this is the um, traveller going away again. And you can hear the uh, horse's hooves on the stones. And how the silence surged softly backwards. Backward when the plunging hooves were gone. And now it's saying that, and then when the hooves, the sound of the hooves of the horse had gone, 
the silence returned <coughs> and this place was again alone full of phantoms and ghosts so there you go if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon the listeners by walter de la mer bye for now